Hi, everybody. This is Noelle from Petiti Garden Centers. And um, we've had a lot of questions about hardiness zones. Is my plant hardy? Will it survive outside over the winter? Um, when can I plant it You know, outside? When do I need to bring it in? So I thought maybe it would be a good idea to talk about U.S. Department of Agriculture hardiness zone, plant hardiness zone map, which is right over my shoulder, and Taylor's going to show you. And this is what we go by, um, all of us go by, as far as minimum cold temperatures that plants can withstand out there in our gardens and landscapes. Um, so here in Northeast Ohio, our, uh, we actually have quite a, a range, if you will, and it really has to do with Lake Erie and the lake effect and how the warm water in the lake can obviously affect um, snowfall and temperature increase and so forth, um, spring, summer, winter, and fall. So around here, the lake effect is always kind of changing us up as far as um, temperatures and climate are concerned. So um, I'm gonna show you our temperature range is anywhere from 5B, which is negative 15 degrees, okay? All the way up to 6B, which is actually zero degrees Fahrenheit. And so if you have plant material that you have the tags or you looked at the tags and it says hardy to zone five, you're gonna be fine. Your plant material is gonna be perfectly fine in Northeast Ohio. If your plant material has a lower number, let's say hardiness to zone three, that's even better because those plants are hardy to like negative 40 degrees air temperature. So that's, that's even better. That's a better cold hardiness. If your plant material is tagged to be zone seven, just out of our hardiness zone, then that plant is probably will need protection. And I mean protection inside a garage or inside the home over winter so you can continue to grow that plant. So paying attention to those hardiness zones is very important. Um, we grow all of our trees and shrubs up in Lake County. So believe me, we grow plants that are hardy, cold hardy trees and shrubs that are rated for zone five, if not um, lower temperature. So zone four, zone three, two. So we grow a lot of plant material that's gonna be very, very cold hardy in our area. Remember, this is um, air temperatures. And Angelo and I often talk about the, the winds in the winter are very desiccating and they can be a major problem for your plant material. So as we get into the fall months and later in fall, let's say uh, mid to late November, when we have had a good freeze, um, that's actually when you want to go and apply those winter protective materials. Again, paying attention to those zone hardiness is really, really important. Um, many, many plants are uh, very, very cold hardy. Um, I'm gonna throw out like a knockout rose, for example. Knockout rose is very popular. It's a landscape rose, it's a shrub rose. It's a rose that doesn't have a graft or a bud union to it. It is root hardy, and so you don't have to protect it over the winter. They can just die back naturally, no problem. If we have a real hard winter, you might see a lot of dieback on the stems. The stems might turn black. And then when you go out there in the spring, as the plant starts to green up, you will you may have to you know prune it down to just a few inches where it is green and everything else is damaged. So it often fluctuates in our area in Northeast Ohio. One winter might be mild, like last winter was very mild, but we had a really bad spring where we had some freezes very late on, so it was very strange. The other thing that you need to know about the hardiness zones is your, your average last frost date, which usually for us in Northeast Ohio can fluctuate. If you're closer to the lake, it might be around the end of April. If you're more inland, it usually is around March 15th. So we usually say around the 15th, mid-May, did I say March? Sorry. It's definitely May. Um, so around mid-May is what you're looking for. And you can prepare your soil up to that point, but you definitely want to hold off on planting tender material that's not cold hardy 
until mid-May or after, okay? Um, same thing in the fall, bringing your house plants in or your tropical plants in, um, you're really looking at that average last frost date and then also a freeze date. So average last frost um, for fall um, is really gonna be around mid-October to the end of October when we usually see that. But look for those frosts because you want your house plants and your tropical plants to kind of cool down and um, you know, kind of go into that semi-dormant state. And then the next thing you know, you will bring them indoors after they have that one or two light frost kind of cool down period. You bring them indoors and they will need to be protected because they aren't cold hardiness zone hardy in Northeast Ohio, okay? So that kind of rolls back around. I wanted to show you this really quickly. You'll see on a cold hardiness zone map, um, these different colors. And in Northeast Ohio, um, you'll see kind of a nice Kelly green, medium green right by the lake. Again, it's warmer by the lake due to the lake effect in this area. So again, that warmer temperature, that Kelly green temperature is negative five to zero degrees. Next inland is gonna be this kind of darker green, if you will, and that's the zone 6A. So you're looking at, again, negative 10 to negative five degrees. And then these blue spots ah, are gonna be your lower spots and they're gonna be colder areas. Um, this area actually is over in Chardon, Ohio. They're, they're infamous for getting a lot of um, snow and so forth. So again, um, there are some cold spots that are those 5B spots. So that's where it goes down to negative 15 degrees um, on average. So anyway, just a little information about cold hardiness zones. Um, in Northeast Ohio, you know, what plants are hardy? Again, um, if they're rated um, zone five, you are, you are set, no problem. If they're rated um, 6A, 6B, you do need to pay attention to where, you know, you live and, and where you're planting those. And, um, planting them in landscapes. There's always like micro environments in our landscape. So protected side of the house is, is you know, sometimes really beneficial for some plants as well. Um, but it'll give you a good idea of what's gonna work well for you in the landscape, come back for you year after year um, versus something that you might have to bring inside, protect um, a little bit better year after year as well. Enjoy.